Well, glory to God. Welcome once again, Power of Faith. I'm Pastor Philip Durbin with my lovely wife, Alberta Durbin. Just delighted to be able to share with you in the truths of God's Word mm -hmm. once again. Luke 137 says, For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Nothing. And it's February 23rd. Tremendous Tuesday. Tremendous things are happening. They are. In our lives, in our people's lives, in this nation. Yes, Hallelujah. glory. Glory, really I'm glad glory. I stayed with it. Who I stayed I am with? Too. Praise God. How are you doing today? I'm doing tremendous. Your necklace is flipped over. Uh, thank you. <laughs> there you go. There you go. You should have told me that before. Well, I didn't see it. Okay. It, I thank saw you. it when the camera comes on, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, glory. We're, we're my ear itches. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Let's start again. Hallelujah. <laughs> Let's start again. No, we okay. do it. We good. We're good. I mean, we're talking to family, and if it's a new person, this is the way we are. Praise <laughs> the Lord. Have you yeah. ever itched before? Yeah. Right? I don't know if it ever itched on camera. <laughs> I don't know if I ever announced now, it. No, we don't have itchy ears. No, I, <laughs> that's bad when you have itchy ears. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay. We're delighted that you have the next half yeah. hour to share with us in New Creation Realities. Righteousness, right standing with God. What a precious uh -huh. gift, right? And we have these devotionals that we wrote years ago, and Mama Alberta just had these made up in a smaller hand uh, carry uh, edition. <laughs> well, I mean, it's easy. That's what that's what you told me you wanted them made for. You can put them in your purse or in your briefcase. Or whatever it may be, instead of packing around. Leave it in things. your car, and you know you always have it. You could take it to work, leave it at your workplace, mm -hmm. and you know just pick it up and read that day or any day. You know you don't have well, to read day by day. Yeah, and uh, if you're interested in obtaining, you know, got the hardcover, paperback, or the smaller edition, at the end of the program, uh, there'll be information on how you can obtain that. Are you ready, my I'm tremendous ready. wife? <laughs> I'm February twenty third. Let's jump on in this thing. Okay, February twenty third. Wow, uh, this is our scripture verses from Isaiah forty five and verse twenty four. Surely, that's a covenant word, isn't it? Yes, it is. Surely, shall one say, "In the Lord have I righteousness and strength." Righteousness and strength go hand in hand. That's true. A born-again believer experiences weakness much of the time because he fails to identify with his right standing with Father God. He is always trying to be right instead of letting right be. A Christian has been made righteous. His righteousness understanding will then strengthen his life because he knows that strength is coming from what Jesus did, not what he is trying to do. There's a whole lot there, people. Mm -hmm. So you need the book so you could go over and read it over and over again, just like the Word. Well, this is Word. All that is required to have that strength is to say, in the Lord have I righteousness and strength. There is such a power in what you say. Don't rely on your feelings. For example, if someone asked you your name, you would tell them, no matter how you felt, wouldn't you? Sure you would. If you can answer what your name is, no matter how you feel, then how much more should you say, I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, no matter how you feel? What God has called you, his new creation, is far superior to what your natural parents have called you. As you begin to say what God has said, the strength of your right standing with God will strengthen not only your spirit, but your physical body as well. Oh, is that true? Today, awake to righteousness and say out loud, in the Lord, I have righteousness and strength. You know, you know. Uh... Wow. I touch on that about... you got to get these books. No matter how you feel, you know your natural name. 
That's you can really be run, good. You can be running a fever of 105. <laughs> you wish you were somebody you else. You could owe everybody in town. <laughs> and if somebody good. asks you your name, it doesn't matter about the financial pressure. It doesn't matter how your physical body is. Unless you it's a bill collector, you say. <laughs> <laughs> somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> but the point being, you always you, do. You, you say, I'm Philip David Derber. Say what you know. You're Alberta Elizabeth Derber, right? Right. No matter how you feel. No matter. Well, take that over That's in the good. realm of the spirit. Good example, honey. Yeah, take that over in the realm of the spirit. It doesn't matter the weakness. It's good. The what what is attacking your body? What's attacking your finances? What's attacking Strong your Lord. your 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 family? You say what our heavenly Father parent named us. You a king? You a priest? You're more than a conqueror. Strong in you're the a Lord chosen and the power generation, of his might. a royal priesthood, a holy nation, Shh. a peculiar people. Peculiar. You're a joint heir, right? Right? Yeah. And you are the righteousness of God in, in Christ, Christ Jesus. Jesus. And when you start speaking that out, there's wow. a strength. That's so true. That comes from your... See, when, when we finally leave these bodies and, and go to heaven, you're not going to enter into heaven. <sighs> well, I'll tell you what, it will rough down there. And, uh, you know, I just need, you know, 20,000 years uh, just for rest. No, as soon as you're out of, this, out of this body, you are instantly strong. Why? You're made in the image of God. God never, he, he has everlasting strength. He's almighty. Yes. We're made in that image and we're connected to that strength. Mm -hmm. And when the enemy can pull us away from our new creation reality, all of a sudden we start feeling weak. Yeah. We start feeling inadequate. Yeah. We start feeling unworthy. We start and it's and it's real. If you're not grounded in righteousness, you're susceptible to works. Mm -hmm. In other words, instead of walking in your right standing with God, all of a sudden you'll just feel like you're disappointing God and now you want to please him. And you start uh, knowingly or unknowingly uh, doing things that you think might make up the difference when what pleases God is faith. That's the only thing that pleases Him. It's only well, thing. another thing that pleases Him, the Bible says He's pleased for His righteousness sake. Well, that's and so. Right so when you take both of those yes. and put them together, the strength mm. that comes out, uh, you know, uh, for instance, uh, the ministry load that uh, I have this week, we have this week, is uh, quite a bit. And, uh, you know, the there's no amount of sleep that can spiritually strengthen you. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I know that your body needs to rest. But if you don't uh, get into the st spiritual strength, your physical body... Uh, will uh, naturally respond to the supernatural strength that's within you, being strengthened in the inner man. Yeah. So when uh, a born-again believer walks in his new creation realities, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And the strength comes out of that divine nature that never, the Bible says in Isaiah 40 that, uh, have you not known? Have you not heard that the Lord, the everlasting uh, Father, he, he, he does not grow weary? You know, I mean, you, you can't, you can't wear God out. No. See? No searching so, of his understanding. And the Bible says for us not to be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. So, for the enemy to wear on us, get us to get wore out. I'm, I understand you need to eat right. You need to 
exercise. You need to rest. These these little natural things. But if you're oh. if you're counting on that no. for strength. Uh, everlasting strength, you're missing, missing the point completely. Because you can do all that and be wore out. <laughs> I'm talking about. You can sleep for fourteen hours and be wore that's out. That's right. I'm talking about discovering your new creation reality and walking in it. You're strengthened from the inside out. You don't strengthen uh, from the outside in. That's backwards. Sure is. In anything, so in anything. from outside, well, I just need sleep. Well, you might need sleep, but after, after you wake up, you still better get over into your righteousness. You might need to, get, to eat a proper meal. That's wonderful. You might need to take a walk. That's great. But if you think your spiritual strength comes from that, it does not. See? And so uh, when we discover the uh, power of the new man, that strength that comes out of it, th then supernaturally... You can do things beyond what natural man does. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. See, absolutely. I remember one time uh, when we were living out at the Smithers Ranch and we all got snowed in. Remember that oh, big old snow wow. that time? Oh, God. Oh, that was terrible. You and me and Elder Fantley and Pastor Elizabeth was on a 21-day fast. Remember that? <laughs> yeah, I remember that. And we got snowed in. And Fantley and I. You went and shoveled all that. It was we, like real high. It was like. It was, yeah, it was yeah. deep. We took two shovels out. Now, they lived out, you know. Way out. Yeah, 10 acres away out there on Tracy, off Tracy Lane. And the the drive uh, out to the lane may have been a quarter mile by itself or, or longer. I don't know. But we look at each other. Me and family, and you know we gotta get to town, <laughs> right? Now we're fasting. We went out there, and we started shoveling. And I'm telling you what, it was supernatural strength. Yeah. And we'd stay out there. Now we got cold. Remember, we come oh, back in Lord. in about I don't know 20, 30 minutes. We we come back in, warm up. We look at each other. We did not eat. We'd been on a 20, we were probably on day 18, 19, the extended part of that fast. And, but the strength we had. Now, I understand you when you start fasting, you, you can fasting. feel weak for a while, but when your spirit you man strong. rises up, all of a sudden, there we are in the middle of a, 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 a being snowed in, and we're out there shoveling, and the only reason we even would have to come back inside is because we got cold. You know how when you fast, you get cold anyway. Well, uh, I mean, you're out there in 20 inches of snow and it's cold out. You get cold, period. But see, we were all worded up. We were all prayed up, building yourselves up on your most fasting, holy faith. Fasting, yeah. fasting. And so, so. we were on the revelation of righteousness. There is a strength that comes out of the new man. Listen to that verse again. It's just it's just beautiful. It says, Surely shall one say. Well, I'm one that's gonna say it. Yes. You should be one that says this. In yes. the Lord have I righteousness and strength. And strength. And strength. strength I you know, know. hun, you know, getting back to uh kingdom work. There's been there's been numerous numerous times where I had to stir myself up mm -hmm. because of the uh, ministry load, or because I just didn't feel uh, up to the ministry task that was in front of me, whether it was pastoring or an RVN concert or TRM ministry or whatever, and I looked to the inside. I look to the inside, and and uh, I, I recognize that it does not matter how I feel. And I, when I step into that, it's happened numerous times. Jesus. Those meetings are just, for instance, 
yesterday. I had to go because, you know, our uh, upcoming trip. I had to go to Louisville. It's the only time I had, really. Yeah. On the day that I preached, this is the last thing I want to do is go to go to Louisville to have my uh, car service. So, but, you know, I made the appointment. I went up there. And then when I get there, I find out I have to stay longer. But it was a, for a good for yeah. good reason. Blessing, really. But when I come back, you know, and, uh, you know, I got home and I told you, I looked at the clock. Well, my goodness, you know, by now, I would already have everything lined out and so on and so forth. And I said, well, I got to go down the dream tank. I didn't have much time, you know, before uh, taking a, a rest and praying and so on and so forth. Look what happened in the service last night. Of course, you were in my office, me and you grabbed hands, and we prayed. And it doesn't matter no. how I physically no. feel. It matters of who I am yeah. in Christ Jesus. It's Christ in you, the hope of glory. Right. And again, we can do all things through Christ Christ's who strengthens Jesus. us. Right. Yes, the anointing comes upon us and moves in us, rises up within us to do, to do things. But what can hinder that is if you don't know you're the righteousness of God. See? And here, everything. that, that move that we were in, we were in worship for an hour and a half or better. And, uh, you know, uh, it was just a glorious time. Now, if you would have asked me, if, if you would have asked me, you're going to have a move of God. <laughs> you're going to, you're going to sing prophetically and prophesy and, 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 and. I'd have, man, praise the Lord. Now, if I thought that I had to muster that up, that I had to create that to do that, I'm in trouble. Yeah. Because I, you know, you. Thank you. But the supernatural, understanding who yeah. you are in Christ Jesus, that greater is the He that is in us. That is in us. Than, than He, he that physical, physical man, body, if you will, natural man, that's in the world. Certainly. Uh, the, greater than the devil, too, that's in the world. But uh, when... Well, natural man pretty much. Yeah. Bad. <laughs> when a believer understands that, there's nothing... Can't do, thank you, Lord. ...that can hinder you for long. I didn't say it couldn't hinder you. I said hinder you yeah. for long. See, because the strength... You know, Saul got weaker and weaker. David got stronger and stronger. And when you and I, uh, every time you're hearing uh, new creation reality, it ought to be strengthening you spirit, soul, and body. Yes, yes. And then out of that, It'll strengthen you financially. Yes. It'll strengthen you in what God has called, yeah, every area, and what God has called you to do. Be able to attack sickness when it tries to hit you. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the, you know, I was thinking about um, sickness, for instance, healing and health, divine health. You know, you start out getting healed, getting healed, getting healed, but then you have to step into divine health because. That's what he says. Beloved, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in health, mm -hmm. not get healed. Mm -hmm. We are to be walking there's in a, divine that's a, that's health. A, that's a higher dimension. <clears throat> yes, but you work your way to that. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking how, wow, you know, 33, 33 years ago, how, um, every you know, time, you start every out with, time, Every time that Pretty much every time that I've had to deal with sickness is because I let something slip. Oh, absolutely. We would get low. Yeah. In yeah. our word time or from, because of, you Ministry know. Ministry or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, absolutely. I mean, you, you, you leave. That's when the enemy can attack you. What, that's when he, you know, now especially because. Um, give no place give no to place. the devil. Uh, but we got to uh, start right, out. Right, right now, right now, there's a, there's a healing 
uh, anointing moving up in here. And I want you to look into that camera and I want you to pray for people that are watching right now. That camera right there. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Whatever's in Listen, your heart. Listen, you don't have to put up with anything, with anything. You know, they, they have put such fear into even the body of Christ with that virus. That virus is just a name, and Jesus is the name above every name, and you have authority. I take authority over the fear that's a tried to attack everyone of your bodies that are listening to me right now. In the name of Jesus, he said, no weapon formed against you can prosper. Every tongue of judgment, devil saying, you're not going to get over this. Uh, you, you know, so-and-so died from this. I take authority over cancer right now. In the name of Jesus, breast cancer right now. There's someone that's listening and you have a lump in your breast and it's been diagnosed as cancer. And if anything, it's the fear because you heard the big C. Well, you have the big C. That's Christ, not cancer. Jesus is the name of it. I rebuke that and I command that, that lump to disappear right now in the name of Jesus. Go in the name of Jesus. Right now, get out of that body. In Jesus' mighty, 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 mighty name. Mighty name. Mighty name. Somebody's having problems with their digestive system. Um, a lot of pain in your, in your stomach. In Jesus' name. I believe you even have an acid reflux. You go to swallow your food and it comes up and it's all coming up in a, in like a very thick mucus and you can't stop it from coming up. I rebuke that right now in Jesus' mighty, mighty name, in the mighty name of Jesus. Go from them right now in Jesus' mighty name. Jesus' mighty name. There's someone watching. Mighty name. Jesus. And your throat, you've had a, a sore throat, hard to swallow. Just throats are being healed. Glory to God. Right now in Jesus' Glory mighty name, God. everything Glory to do God. with throats could be cancer of the throat. But God is healing That's throats right, right now. That's Difficulty enough. in swallowing. Uh, you know, it could be related to what Mom Alberta said about uh, acid reflux, acid reflux but, but strep throats being healed, sore throats Glory. are being healed. You're feeling, Glory. you're feeling the balm of Gilead just yes. coming Thank down you into Jesus. your throat right now. Begin to swallow. Get you something to drink right now where it, where yes. it even hurt to drink. You're gonna find all of Thank that pain Jesus, yes. gone Hallelujah. in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mm. mighty, that's a strong, wow. strong healing. Somebody else yeah. is being healed. Right in, be, right up, right up in here. Sinus. Your pain, your pain is right there. I'm pointing exactly where it is. That leaves your body now in Jesus' you, Lord. mighty name. Now, if you need healing for any other area of your body, stretch your hand towards my hand right now, Father. In the name of Jesus, I pray for all those that are viewing that need the healing power of Jesus to flow into their bodies. Yes. I rebuke all yes. infections. Yes. I rebuke all disorders. I command organs to function. I command pain to flee. I command healing. There's the healing. Mm. Flowing. My goodness. Now, in Jesus' name, you feel that warmth coming into that stomach, coming into that back, coming into that knee, coming into that ankle, into those ears. In Jesus' mighty name, we speak and release, be healed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, listen. Thank you, Jesus. There's the number at the bottom of the screen. Call uh, our prayer line 
and 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 uh, give your testimony and uh, let us know or or email us at help at faithvictorychurch.us. Let you know as soon as the ten lepers uh, were healed, one of them came back to testify. See, and it's important that you tell somebody That's right. that uh, you've been healed. Now, I'm not talking about jamming up the uh, helpline with, with testimonies, but I am saying just call and say, hey, I just prayed with uh, Pastor Philip, Mom Alberta, and that pain is gone. And uh, hallelujah. Yeah. We want to hear about it. Whoo, it's been a tremendous Tuesday, I guess. Yeah. Walking in healing. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 4, says where the word of a king is, there, there is power. power. Be a blessing. Awake to Righteousness with a daily devotional by Drs. Philip and Alberta Derber. In this powerful devotional, you'll learn the different aspects of the righteousness or right standing that Jesus has provided. Get the reality of what Jesus has done deep down inside of you to the point that every day you awake to righteousness. Awake to Righteousness includes 365 daily devotions accompanied by a master key verse and a scriptural meditation for every day of the year. Get your Awake to Righteousness devotional today. You can order online at our website or give us a call at 502-875-7886.